don't be surprised if you notice someone looking inside your recycling bins. That's because interns for Des Moines Public Works are performing recycling audits to make sure there aren't any recycling don'ts inside the bins. Our Tidora Mitov joins us live this morning. So Tidora, what will they be looking for? Yeah, Kaylin, they'll be looking for recycling violations. So right now I'm on Southwest 14th Street here in Des Moines. And as you can see, residents here have their recycling bins already out. Later this morning, crews from Des Moines Public Works will come by to pick these up. And they, people here can also expect to see their recycling helpers also come by and look through these bins as well. Recycling helpers for the City of Des Moines Public Works are a few weeks into their summer internship, but they've already seen some interesting items inside recycling bins. I'll find car parts and I think one time I found a dog kennel. These helpers check blue carts for any recycling violations, and when there is one, the process is pretty simple. And then we will have these, um, these little tag papers that you would mark what is wrong, and you would stick it on the bin, turn the bin sideways, and move on. That way, the people in the trucks know not to pick up that bin. After three violations, residents get their bins confiscated. Operations manager Craig Shepard said the goal isn't to punish residents, but rather to encourage education. We're finding that we're running about 15% of our, of our recycle stream is contaminated. Um, that can push up to 20%, and with the help of our recycle helpers, we're trying to bring that number down closer to 10%, which is about the national average. And in previous years, Des Moines neighborhoods with recycling helpers saw a 60% increase in the quality of recycling. And while this is the goal... It, this one's predominantly full of, of nice, mostly broken down cardboard. This is exactly the kind of stuff we want to see, and this is a commodity that we love to get. Sometimes this happens. Um, as you can see, the, the, cut, the coated dog food or, or cat food bags, these just need to go in the trash. This is, a, this is a number one plastic, but it has some food contamination in it. So if you want to get rid of this, please dissect it and clean out the, the, the food waste. Here's another uh, plastic bag. These need to be recycled at your local grocery store. And uh, again, styrofoam does not go in our stream. And just having one violation can impact the entire stream. Crews from Des Moines Public Works told me that once uh, items are picked up from here, they are brought to Metro Waste, where then everything is put on a conveyor belt. And AI then detects what a violation could be. And then a gust of air blows that violation off of the belt. But when that air comes by, it doesn't just take out the one violation. It takes out a lot of different uh, items that are on that belt. So not just the violation, a lot of things can be taken off that are perfectly recycled. So that's why it's important to try to limit or completely avoid having a violation in these bins and also why these recycling helpers are so important. Kaylin. Absolutely. So make sure why they're really checking and if people aren't getting it, they're taking it away. Tidora, did they tell you how people can maybe get the recycling bin back? They didn't tell me how they can get it back. I'm sure that there might be a process afterwards, but they did say after the three violations, they do confiscate them, but it's only just for education purposes. They're not trying to punish residents. They do say that typically people do understand after that first violation what it is because people just aren't aware that plastic bags, for example, can't go inside these bins. Plastic bags, you can recycle at your uh, local grocery store, but you can't put them in here. So it's just that education that people need. Rarely does it get to those three violations. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, you don't know what you don't know yet. So it's great they're doing this, ini this initiative. Peter Mito, thanks for that live report for us this morning.